Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Texas Pete, you know the one with the black top. You know, I like that one. It's hotter than that other one. Let me get this up here where I can see it. Okay, I think that's nice. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this is your very first time on this channel, run and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Not that you're part, but there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go on, take a team. Comment like a share and go on, take a team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come like a share. Okay, you guys, check out. We go ahead and pray. We're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Y'all. Over to the side. Let me get this out the way. We got just be it. Just been here today and he's here because baby we need him because this food is hot. You see all this smoke right there? It's hot and we've been to get to eat. Let's see if he's nice refreshed. Ah, he is, you guys, just been has diet coke to hip today. Also, we got our lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, the web top screws right in blue. Hit that link and right there you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merch. Okay. You guys today for the food, we gotta some of them bone them bone them neck bone them bone them bone them neck bone them bone them bone them neck bone they barbecue y'all and over here we got some white mushrooms we done uh, blah, blah, blah. we done boiled them and got them all put down and everything and everything. this is the wrong one yeah no this is the wrong one and everything these are white mushrooms y'all just been cooked I got me some of the hotter Texas Pete over here and of course we got a little sauce out. Let's get to eating. Let's get to eating. All right. Oh, I love white mushroom. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Here you go. That's the white mushroom right there. See it? Mmm. 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 I love white mushroom. I do. Mmm. Mmm. It's strange. Mmm. I start eating them. Like at um I used to eat them, I was afraid of them. Because I used to say if you back in the day when I was young, I used to say hey, if you ate mushroom, you know, it would drive you crazy. Or um poison you and all of that. Y'all, baby need beef or pork. I can't remember what that pack said. Deep pork nip on y'all. And they've been barbecued, honey. They've been barbecued. Hmm, let me get by. And they spicy. Look at that. Y'all know I got to try to give me a thumbnail. But did you get it? Did you see it? Mmm. 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 I'm just throwing my hot sauce. Oh him, let it just drizzle down your body. Let it drizzle down your body. Y'all see it? Oh, let it drizzle. Wait, hey, focus there, y'all. Okay, that work. All right, here we go. Oh, mm, 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 mm. mm. Mm-hmm. Nah, don't no start wasting stuff a little. Mm. 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 Mm.
Mmm. Mmm. I knew. Mmm. Like, these neck bones were gonna be good. I did. I knew they were gonna be good, y'all. Because. Mmm. 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 Y'all, to be honest with you, these neck bones been in the fridge right on for about three days. Mmm. 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 Go ahead. Mmm. 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 They were cooked. <clears throat> Cause like I tell y'all, well, because we're finna go to Vegas, time is getting really close now. Mmm. 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 I'm shooting a multiple video today on select days of the week. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like I got choked out right there. I'm assuming multiple videos on, um, you know, designated days of the week because to make sure we got videos when we go to Vegas. And everything. Mmm. Mmm. And so we're going to clean up this stuff, y'all. We're going to make sure that whenever I feel like eating, it's already ready. I'll just get me a side to go with it and hey, hey, hey boom, boom. So, for me, real time, Labor Day is tomorrow. Mm. Now, he'll be out uh, going out. Then we're going to visit a friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little behind. Mm. 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 Y'all just do it. We're not behind, but mm. but um, I wanted something else yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I ate some now. My knee just got left in them. I had to kind of forgot about them a little bit. Mm-hmm. Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Pork neck bottles, honey. That what that is. You want another bite? With some hot sauce on it. Get your bite. This one here I know got gristle on it because it's that flat piece. Y'all see it, baby, baby, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm Mm. That a grill. Mm. That's it. Mm. When I used to eat stuff like that. Mm. 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 That would save all my gristles. Until the end. I eat about it one time. Now I got so greedy, I can't wait. I have to eat them. Full of gristle. Y'all see that death gristle, death gristle? Come through. Come through. Mm. Mm. I love gristle. You just I do. Mm. I love gristle. I just love it. And Jay neck bone here, y'all. Them bone, bone, these neck bone, these bone, these bone, these neck. <laughs> y'all, mm. they got crunchy red pepper and cayenne and stuff on top of them to make them hot. Then with my hot sauce, baby, I want this with a flat piece over here. Yes, I do. Griffin. 
Mm. Barbecue neck bones is giving. Mm-hmm. They come on through and do what they need to do. They show them. They coming on through and doing what they need to do, honey. Mmm. 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 Yes, they are. So how y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How you doing? I'm busting with the bomb. Mm. I hope y'all doing fabulous, fantastic old. My stomach is better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the way these nip on here cut. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. We got a few loose ends, y'all. So, uh -oh. we got a few loose ends. The tie before we leave. And we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. The packing process is going well. Mmm. I'm down there with juicy. Mmm. So we make sure we don't leave them. I'm so excited to go through y'all. I'm so excited. Yes, I am. I am so excited. I still got a lot to do though before I go. Because the pre order for the new merch line, or well, the new merch items, uh, I need to have it ready by the 15th. Mm. But we're going to Vegas on the 13th. Mm. So I'm trying to get it all ready to upload it and ready to go before we leave. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is mm. G. Hughes, um, sweet and spicy. Barbecue sauce on him. You sugar free. Hmm. You gotta cut where you can. Especially when it's good. Come on out of that meat. Come on out of that meat. Hmm. Hmm. That meat, that man's stubborn. Hmm. But I'm stubborn too. Because I want it. Oh, let's do that. Do y'all like Nick Bones? Mmm. So I got a nephew. Mmm. That we uh, eat Nick Bones, but won't eat Nick Bones. Mmm-hmm. It's like, you know, he likes to taste Nick Bones, but <laughs> bless his heart. He said when he was a child, my sister cooked Nick Bones so much in her house. Yeah, he don't want to lay bounce since he grown. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was like that for a few years. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The only thing I can ever remember being like that, you know, like for a while, was greens. Mm hmm. I was. I, um,. I just didn't want no green. When we go to Thanksgiving dinner, I would eat everything but the green. Now, I ate them so much when we were shy because we had green patches in. And that and I just said the third. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't eat greens until I became, you know, older in college. And then I moved away from home. And I moved to Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And when I moved to Louisiana, I wasn't a—I wasn't even a lover of collard green, y'all. Because my family, you know, normally the way that they do it, they they do the mustard internal and the pea patch, not the pea patches, in the green patches. In the country, they do the mustard internal, you know, and they grow 
and everything. And then when the first frost hit them, whatever, you can go pick them. Well, after the community, and you done picked your mustard and your turnip green, then they go out there and they sow the collard greens. Well, where I'm from, the collard green, mm, when they put them out there, mm, mm, when they grew up, I mean, you go get some if you want to, but while I grew up, the collard green, when they were planted, when they were planted for the cows to eat. You know, when the collards came up, they would let the cows go, so I didn't grow up eating collard greens. But back when I moved to Louisiana, that was their choice of greens with some collards. And I feel back in love with greens again when I moved to Louisiana because they cooked them different. It was a different texture than what I was used to. You know what I mean? It was just different. And that's how I feel back in love with greens. But like I was saying, my nephew said he ain't eating no ball, no ball, no neck ball. Hey. <laughs> and this actually funny. Baby. Mm. It's funny I said that. Mm. Mm. Um, with the vet's husband last night. I said he loved cabbage. <laughs> but the vet. Uh, <laughs> hey, broccoli up here today. I love broccoli too, though, but. Still, mm -hmm. mm. 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 that's big on meaty neck bones. So these neck bones are good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a beautiful day today. Gorgeous, hot, but gorgeous. Mm -hmm. High 80s, maybe 90 degrees outside. I know it was like 86, 87 earlier. Beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It was a gorgeous day outside. And I'm actually shooting this video in the middle of the day. Um, yes, gorgeous video. I mean, gorgeous outside. Mm -hmm. The weather has been pretty good this summer. It has. It's been pretty good. It was dangerously hot there for a little while. Now it's hot out there now. But it ain't that. You go outside with a go from your vehicle and walk from your front door to your door. And it seems like the sun market took your soul off. Hey! <laughs> for real. Cause it be that hot. I feel like that from your front door to your vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. A little sun monkey come through and take your whole soul with them. Mm-hmm. It'll be just that hot. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Y'all, Serena lost in the third round. She did. I just thought about it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm so proud of her, though. I'm so proud of her. No, we really am. She retired it with a bang. She did. She lost in round three. I was rooting for her so hard, young. Another thing, y'all. So, the Atlanta Housewives. Mm-hmm. She by Shireen is officially out. Yep. The season finale uh, then came out, then showed She by Sheree by Sheree Whitfield is finally out, y'all. And those y'all that have been followed, if you ain't seen it, Tyrone shows up for the, the launch of She by Sheree. Mm-hmm. So finally... It took her 14 years. Mm-hmm. But she's finding a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? She's finding a fashion designer. It was good. Now, back down to business. So, y'all, they said Portia will be back on next season. I can't wait, baby. I can't wait. And then you know, um, 
the Housewives of Atlanta is going on. So, baby, it's time for Potomac to get kicked up, boo. Yes, sir. Season 7 of Potomac. Housewives of Potomac is supposed to get kicked up. And I know it's supposed to be some drama, baby. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I had to stop talking to y'all about my housewives. Mm. Especially last season because it was boring. Mmm. Sheree Whitfield is with Martell Hope now. Somebody on her level, you know? Or at least what I think her level is. I don't know what her level is, but I just on the housewives. And I know this, Tyron, this Tyrone fella. Ugh. Had to change for a little while, you know, because he stole them folks' change. Mm, but he didn't went to jail, prison, whatever, done his time. Now he's back. Sheree broke down this season, y'all, and said she felt like a fool for being, you know, a lady of prestige like she is. Oh, excuse me. And be, you know, waiting on a man in prison for like four years. Oh, mm, that was a mess. But she finally figured it out. And done moved on, her. Mm-hmm. Cause Sheree is a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman. She really is. She's a beautiful woman. But they say Portia's gonna be back the next season. Mm. It was in the blogs. They offered her something like five million dollars to come back. I believe it. Because y'all, Portia and Simon, they were supposed to get married here in Atlanta this month. They were. Mm. I just had my drinks caught up. Um, but they canceled their wedding. That seemed, uh, you know, to fall in line with um, Portia and them canceling their wedding. Because if Porsche's coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, they get paid extra. They get paid stipends for stuff like that, you know, for letting them, mm, like, take their wedding and stuff. A Porsche of this year going to be able to own them. Hey, they got a brand new house. Brand new to them anyway. It's gorgeous, too. Everything is all clean and white and, ooh. I can't wait. Not to say her other mansion wasn't, you know, whatever. Better than where I stay. <laughs> but this here house that she got now, y'all, is a real, you know, housewife house. Like, it's five. But they say that all the something like five million dollars will come back. So with her counts and her wig, I tend to believe that. Because she's gonna get paid extra money, you know. The film her wedding to the man that she met on the show that was somebody else's husband at the time when she made him on the show. Da da da. Y'all know the story. Hey, glory. Mm -hmm. Baby, I need some extra drink, please. Hold on, y'all. I'm out of beverage. So I can believe that. That seems like the run by like it would. You know, for her to cancel her wedding so that it can be filmed on Bravo. Because. The way it go, Atlanta film, but Atlanta always film like in the cooler part of the month. And they're, um, you know, like it's filmed six months ahead of time. Then they edit it, and then we get it. We get theirs in the heat of the, the year. Mm. But if you ever look at their wardrobes, unless they are flying somewhere, when they're in Atlanta, they're always in, you know, winter attire. Mm -hmm. So they finna get the film in now. Cause they season though with they got the reunion. The reunion finna start coming on next week, and they'll be back filming for next year's, um, you know, season fifteen. But Potomac is through, and they finna start airing baby season seven. I cannot wait. I can't wait, y'all. I cannot wait. Mm hmm. I love Potomac. I do. I love Potomac, baby. Whatever we do. Anyway, let's look at the housewives. <laughs> it was on my mind, though. But not ain't enough. Let me tell you how you talk. 
So y'all, I've also heard through the grapevine, just on the blogs, people throwing that stuff here and there, here and there, here and there. Don't I mean it's true, it's me what I heard. They say in negotiations, you know, as far as her, you know, dropping the lawsuit against Bravo, Nene Leaks. I heard it got slipped out of somebody's mouth on the blogs that Nene, a part of her negotiations, may be to come back to Housewives. But I'm going to tell y'all something. For me, me, myself, and I, if I were Nene, I wouldn't come back. The only way I would come back, they would have to give me, in, uh, along with me coming back in my settlement, I would have to give me some millions of dollars. Because if Nene Leeds come back on that screen, on the Housewives, baby, ratings is going to go through the roof. They're going to go through the roof. And I wouldn't let them make all the money. Mm, Y'all didn't drop my stuff. That's all right. I would not let them make all the money. Because if she come back, Ray's going to go through the roof. All this that went on since she been gone. She done been sued. She done sued the folks and everything. If I would need me, I wouldn't come back. I would not come back, y'all. Uh -uh. I would just say, give me my money. And let me go on about my life. She got a new boyfriend, new man. Mm. You know, they would love to have all that on now. But if I was in, I would not do it. I would not come back. Mm -mm. I wouldn't do it. Anyway, we're going to see. We're going to see. I do know how Bravo said that they sell on their little inside of things. Mm -hmm. That one of the housewives that's there now is not going to be there next year. God knows I hope it's Marlo, honey. Oh. Marlo is great as a friend of, of, you know, a friend to the franchise she is. Because there's a lot of drama with her. Um, but her mama is on now. Was on there for the finale. But Marlo should be back as a friend. Give us a fresh new housewife, you know. Portia, of course, is going to be there. Porsche coming. Uh, Porsche is definitely coming. Uh, but give us a new housewife other than Porsche. I mean, because even if it's Nene, baby, I'll stop the TV if Nene go back. As well as a lot of other people will, too, I'm sure. Because that's going to be the fight. For real. But anyway, I put Marlo back up there on the side. And just let her come in, you know, and start controversy like she do. But, hmm. Her being a peach holder, to me, just didn't work out. It just didn't. She overdid it. It was too much. It was too much. Her storyline was kind of weak. You know, it was kind of interesting when she sent the boys off, but we didn't get to see the boys while they was over there. We didn't get to see them at the aunt house or whoop, 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 just in the third. Her storyline was weak. Now, I'm going to tell you, from you know, who brought it this year was Drew Sedora. Mm-hmm. Drew Sedora brought it. Y'all, there's some meat up in there. I'm going to have to wait till I get off of here. It's some grips or two. I'm going to have to wait till I get off here to get it pulled out of there. But Drew Sedora, she brought it. Mm-hmm. And at first, I was like, about Sonya Ross. I thought her storyline was weak. I didn't think it was going to be good, but she turned out to be all right. She was pretty interesting. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, Candy is still there. Candy is producing another show on Broadway, so Candy may be the one going to move on. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But we'll see y'all. But they need to put Marvel back on the other side, for real. Mm. 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 And give us a new housewife, huh? For real. I'm going to tell you who I would love to see. I'll just decide. And you may not agree. But if you think about it, it would be good TV. Mm. Mm. It would be good TV, y'all. And if uh, call, if y'all know the Bravo execs, tell them to watch this video. And make sure they give me some of the change when they do it. Because it's going to blow the, the reins out the room. I've been watching from day one. I'm telling you what's going to go on. I'm going to tell you what will be a good fit. 
what would raise their ratings, y'all? If they let the Brett or her wife, one to two of them be on them. For sure, baby. Oh, I wish they would put the Brett or her wife. I don't know her wife. I don't know her personality that way. Well. So I would say for me, the Brett, put the Brett on that joint. She a woman, you know? Put the Brett on that joint to mix things up, baby. Baby, I would love that. I would love it. So if y'all know somebody on Bravo um, panel, tell them come watch this video. I done gave them some advice, honey. I have. If they put the bread on there, send me my check, because I, I broke it right here. I broke it right here. The bread would be good. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And I hope you guys have enjoyed our trip. So do have you ever enjoyed so I'm a newly gen. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. Because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be in Western World. But you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, just Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not able to reach me, watch me next time. You have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. But, y'all, I see it. And if you're not here the next time to reach me, I was trying to make sure y'all y'all heard my idea. So if Bravo put the, get ready to put the brand on that, call me. Well, don't you think that would be good TV? Yeah. But it would be good TV. Yeah, baby. Yeah. If the brand or her wife, yeah. I would prefer the brand. They don't fuck they don't do the same social service. But all the rest of them didn't either. They just put them together. Put the bread in there, bravo, and send me my coin. Send me my coin. <laughs> Put the bread on the Housewives of Atlanta. That would be good TV. And send me my coin for my idea. Producer, me, Lil. Can y'all see the credits coming down and say, EP, executive producer, Lips. It was my idea. I mean, why can't I be an EP? It was my idea. Put the bread on that junk. Anyway, y'all, I'm finna go. Bye.